Hi everybody, so today we're gonna do something really different. Uh, for the month of February, I've decided to do sort of like a capsule makeup bag type challenge. More of like 10 by 10, so 10 products and 10 looks. So the idea behind this is that the industry is constantly launching new products, new formulas, uh, and they push you to buy more and more products like each time. And uh, while trying new makeup is really fun, um, I, that, that, that is not the type of behavior that I would like to promote in my social media, in my channel or like in life really um, just because I feel like like they make it seem like every product that they launch is so essential when it really isn't uh, you only need like a handful of products depending on what it is that you like to do your skin type or just the uh, type of lifestyle that you have you know so I've chosen 10 products uh, that were very caref uh, carefully chosen. So the idea behind these products is that they're gonna see me through various types of looks. So something very dramatic, so to something more natural, more daytime, uh, and that I can do really just a lot with these. So I'm gonna I'm I'm going to walk you through the products that I chose. Uh, however, do take into consideration that the types of products that you choose are going to depend on your skin type, your skin tone, um, your lifestyle, whether you're like someone who's like just like at home all day or you have like a very corporate job or you have more of a uh, artistic job or you, you your work is more physical like if you're like a yoga instructor. So all these things you will have to take into consideration and um, just your style really because what I like to use on a day-to-day -day basis may not be the same that you like to do or what I need, like what I feel I need may not be the same as what you need. So I'm gonna walk you through it and let's get started. Okay, so for my complexion, I've chosen four different products. And uh, I chose a foundation and I wasn't going to choose one, but I thought, well, maybe for like nighttime and uh, maybe days there where my skin is done a bit more red or I just want a bit more of a polished look. So I picked this one and this one is the YSL uh, Touche Cloud Foundation. And yes, it has SPF, but this one doesn't give flashbacks. So it works well for daytime or nighttime and it's not like I'm going to like events or or having my photograph taken all the time so that's really not a concern for me but if it is a concern for you then you might want to think about that and choose something that doesn't have SPF yeah. this one is a very beautiful foundation it's very it's kind of luminous it's what I'm wearing right now um, you can build it up so the, I this like this time I thin it out like quite a lot so it didn't give me as much coverage as it can do so it can you can layer it so it's really buildable and uh, it's just really beautiful I think anyone from slightly oily to dry skin can use this uh, and it's a really good one okay next up is my concealer and I chose the uh, Born This Way concealer mainly because this gives me so much coverage and uh, it really stays put so when like for days that I'm gonna be out uh, working and doing like photo shoots or something like that I can use this and I know that it's not gonna be moving around and doing all kinds of things and um, it can also be used sort of like as a foundation not not in a I mean, you have to thin it out quite a lot because it is so full coverage, but it really, like if you thin it out quite a lot, uh, you can really get away with using it, mainly in the center of my face, like where I have like redness or spots or things like that. So this is a really good one. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up was blush and bronzer. And the blush that I picked was this one by Clinique, and this is Cheek Pop uh, Pink Honey Pop. And I chose this one because even though it is a pinky shade, it sits sort of like in the middle. Uh, it's not too cool toned, it's not too warm toned. So it kind of goes well with almost everything. Uh, I really like the texture of these. These are really blendable, they stay put. They're like sort of like a cream to powder finish. Um, 
and yeah, I really like them. Next up is a bronzer, and I'm using the Chanel one just because I really like it. It's a cream blo a cream bronzer, which is I prefer. I tend to prefer cream uh, formulas just because they're more undetectable on the skin. And again, I have this on today. So this one is my favorite bronzer just because it's a cream texture, it blends really well. It's sort of like a, not a cream to powder, but it's drier than, than like a regular cream product. So it blends really well, it's easy to use, it looks great with most looks. So it's just really like pliable, you can use it in, with different looks and it, it's just gonna look great. Okay, so next up my eyes. So for the eyes I chose this brown lip pencil by Makeup Forever. And I chose brown because I rarely, rarely ever use black just because I don't think, I think it makes me look tired sometimes and I have to conceal a lot and sometimes I just don't want to like, don't want all that makeup on my face so I tend to gravitate more towards brown. Uh, however, if you're darker you can get away with using a black one uh, or if it's used if, if it's just more your style really but this is this fits more into like my day-to-day -day, like makeup look so I thought I would get more use out of this in a black print, uh, pencil and this blends really well but also stays put so I can use it for several different looks so if I want to use it as a base for a, for a smoky eye I can use this because I can blend it in really well or I can use it throughout the day just on its own and I know it's not going to be moving around. So the next product I chose is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. And just because, well, if you follow me on Instagram, you, you, you will see that I use glitter like pretty regularly. It's something that I, that I think is really fun, that just makes it look more exciting. And it's just something that, you know, that I reach, that I reach for constantly. So the next product I chose was the Lancome, uh, Lancome Monsieur Babe. And I chose this one just because it's really the mascara that I'm using right now. Uh, it's really good, it stays put, it gives great volume, and that that's the uh, thought behind that. And as far as eyeshadows, I chose the Born to Run uh, by Urban Decay. And I chose this palette because even though it's not super neutral it does have like neutral shades so, like if you see up here it has a lot of browns a lot of like smoky tones as a black uh, and it has some like like fun shades like a purple uh, some fuchsia and burgundy and greens so really um, when I when I thought of this um, this challenge I didn't want to be so limited in terms of what kind of makeup I wanted to do. I didn't want to choose. I didn't want to choose something, for example, something like this, which I adore, uh, but it's very neutral. I wanted to, I wanted to have more options. So I think this one is a really great one because you can really play if you wanted to do like a purple smoky eye, or a orange eye, or you know, like anything like that. You can really get it in this palette. Of course, like I said at the beginning, the the type of palette that you choose is gonna like will vary depending on what you like to use. I like to be a tiny bit more adventurous with my eyes. Uh, you know, like some some days I want to do like a like a blue like wing or something like that. You know, so I wanted to have options. But search the market because there's millions and millions of different palettes so I'm sure that you can find something that's going to suit you. Also, if you don't like the idea of buying uh, like a palette like, like this that already comes with like, you know, like a preset like range of shades, you can go to somewhere like MAC, Inglot, I believe NARS, do it, uh, NARS does it in, on their website, but you can create your own palette. So, so for example, something like this, which is by MAC, this is so old and so grubby, um, but really you can just go and choose whatever palette you like and uh, whatever shades you like. Uh, so in, Also, they come in like smaller palettes if you wanted to have like a... Like a um, like a palette of four shades or maybe like two shades. Uh, so finally, for the lips, 
I chose two different ones and I wanted to have two options, use more like a day-to-day -day nudie pencil and a uh, red lip, which is what I'm wearing today, which is more like an orange lip. Uh, so for my nude option, I chose the Maybelline Color Drama um, Intense Velvet Lip Crayon and, and it is like a very beautiful, pinky, nudie shade. Uh, and the reason why I chose a lip pencil is because you can also use it as a lip liner, which I like to do. I like to line my lips constantly, um, like every day. So this will give me the uh, precision of a lip liner and you, just the, uh, the ease of a lipstick. So this is a really good one. And for my red option, I chose the Matte Shaker by Lancome in the shade 189 and just just a really beautiful uh red orangey red uh, tone and i like this this i like it they really last really well and also the uh the lipstick that you choose is gonna work as a as a blush also the lipstick that you choose is gonna work as a blush so that's what i did today i just took like um I just took like a very small um, Real Techniques, Real Techniques uh, setting brush, and I just like did my blush with this, uh, just because it's one less step, you know, it's pretty, it's fresh, and it ties in together. So really, again, the products that you choose are gonna depend on what you like to do and your concerns and what it, like your your needs really. Um, if you notice here, I didn't even choose a brow product just because that is something that is not essential for me. Uh, just because I have the bangs, so they're covered all the time. You can really see them. So most of the times, I don't even do anything to my brows. Um, but again, uh, choose wisely. So be be very specific in the products that you choose. You know, put like thought into it. If you're gonna do something like this, which is a more reduced uh, makeup bag, which I understand because it's also very practical. So I hope this was helpful and um, so oh, I also wanted to mention that this um, 10 by 10 challenge is gonna be a mix between here on YouTube and my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, uh, go do so because I'm gonna be posting tutorials like um, like videos, like short videos on my feed, or maybe short videos on my stories, like on how to create like different looks with these same 10 products. So make sure you're following me on there, and I'll see you guys soon.